So I have a word to release to you today. And the word of the Lord that came to me is, you will be wiser than your enemies. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, so I was reading in the Psalms. I was praying and meditating in the word about David. And David was destined for greatness. David was anointed as the king, the ruler, the military general um, who united Israel, who united the kingdom. And yet he had so many enemies. And what I'm seeing for you, beloved, and you pray into this word as always with every prophetic word. Yes, thank you, Holy Spirit. What I was seeing prophetically is God is opening doors in this hour that no man can shut. He is repositioning you. He is bringing unprecedented promotions. That's the word he gave me, unprecedented, meaning never seen before that you've never seen anything like it, unexpected, unusual, extraordinary, positions of authority, positions of status and influence. And when you and I serve God, there will be enemies. When you are following the leading of the Holy Spirit, following the voice of God and doing what the Lord wants you to do and wants you to accomplish. And they that know their God will be strong and do mighty exploits. When you are doing that, there will be demonic opposition that rises up against you. Now, also, you'll have people who rise against you and oppose you. We know that behind all these attacks and things, it is the spiritual forces of darkness. But let me read you a scripture. Psalm 119 verse 98. This is where the word came to me. Your commands are always with me. This is David. And make me wiser than my enemies. And that just sprung off the page to me today. Thank you, Holy Spirit that you will be wiser than your enemies. He said in Psalm 119, the same Psalm, verse 110, the wicked have set a snare for me, but I have not strayed from your precepts. So you see, David had a lot of schemers around him, a lot of plotters, and you may have people around you who want to see you fail, who are waiting to see you fail. They don't want you to succeed. They may even be actively, sometimes they're just passively, you know, waiting and hoping and speaking curse words against your success. Other times they're actually actively trying to bring you down. And um, so what I want you to see here, beloved, is with these doors that are opening and these wonderful promotions that are ahead because God is raising you up. He's giving you a voice. He's giving you a seat of authority. You're taking your place. That's why you've gone through so much to get to the place where you are right now. And you're ready. Okay. You are ready to take the land that God has put for before you. And what I want you to see is you're, the anointing upon you, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the hand of God upon you, and the giftings and callings that God have, has given you, those gifts and talents, they will make a way for you and they will bring you into these positions and into these seats of authority, these seats of influence, these platforms. 
these doors and they will open these doors for you the anointing will but when it comes to staying in the place and not allowing the enemy the devil to unseat you to dethrone you that takes wisdom that is wisdom and that's why i am sent here thank you jesus as a voice to proclaim over you and to decree and declare over you and prophesy over you that you will be wiser than your enemies in other words you will see the attack you will see the demonic strategies but you will outsmart the devil every time in the name of jesus that's what i am decreeing and declaring over you right now just as david called out to the lord and said you make me wiser than my enemies even in this place where i'm surrounded on every side and every demon and demonic force has come out of hell all hell is is hell bent against me and trying to surround me and take me down afflict me david said he was afflicted you know he was attacked he was persecuted so whatever the attack is i have to let you know and that's why i'm here to speak over you and that's why you need to subscribe if you haven't done so so that i can prophesy over your life and prophesy the greatness of your future hallelujah yes thank you jesus so no matter what is coming against you that is the word that God gave me today, the rhema word for what is prevailing, trying to prevail against you right now. You will be wiser than your enemies, smarter than your enemies. Your strategy is better. Your sight, your vision is better. You will see it coming before it even happens. They will not be able to bring you down. No weapon formed against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Now remember, it is the anointing plus wisdom that wins the battle. So I decree and declare, as I close off here, you will be wiser than your enemies in this hour. Praise the name of Jesus. Isn't God amazing? He is so awesome because he takes care of his children. He takes care of you. And he will not let you fail. I pray you're blessed by that. I love you. And thank you for your prayers, your support, your words of encouragement. And thank you also for those of you have, who have felt led to sow into this ministry. You are an amazing blessing. And I pray 100-fold return over you in Jesus' name. Bye-bye for now.